fucking ready! We are a Volker from South Wales! I want to see you move in! Come on! The album is just being slowly released worldwide, and it was just released in Japan. Um, did you have any hopes for the album and its release? Like, what were you expecting? We weren't really expecting. I think we was a bit blown away by it all, and just happy that we signed the road run at the time, and just wanted to see where we go with that. And now it's been released in Japan, and hopefully now we go out to Europe, and then just go where we can with it, and just get everywhere in it. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's been you know received pretty well in the UK at the moment. Do you know what I mean? We've. Uh, you know, especially from two in there with bands like yeah. Rob Zombie and stuff, and our own tours just seem to keep getting bigger yeah, and more crowds. Yeah, so. shows. You know what I mean, it's building like you know what I mean, and uh, like I said, being released in Japan though as well, and you know we've had some, you know, pretty good interest as well off the tr Japanese yeah. fans as well. Find so the media out there enjoying it, so that's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's cool. Like the album is produced by Skin Dreads Benji Webb, and he found memories of the studio and tour with him. Oh, just loads of you know. Good Jay and Benji yeah. arguing. That was yeah. the best ones. That doesn't sound right. It does, Benji. It does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just a good laugh, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was just brilliant. You know, all the recording process and, like I said, and especially touring with them as well. You know, we're good friends with them though, and you know, it was just, just a good laugh, and it like, I mean, just he makes a good cup of tea. We played a few shows in December with a blackout. How did that go? Awesome. Yeah, it was really good. We uh, yeah, sorry about that. It was, <laughs> oh yeah, it was unbelievable. Cause like um, we played out in Ireland with them, and it was like the first time we had been out to Ireland, and the uh, the response was just it was absolutely amazing. And like we, you know, we always try to like go out to the, our merch desk and stuff as well, and you know, meet as many people as we can and. We must have been out there for about two hours every night after the show, was just meeting people, and having photos stuff and with them, and it was amazing. It was Such a good really vibe, like really good. And the thing is, we like we like to play with different bands, like do you know what I mean? And you know, from playing like from with, like Soulfly, and then with the Blackout, I mean, it's a different type <laughs> music, genres, isn't it? Like but you know, it's just good to see how how well we go down, like when we play the Soulfly and different with the Blackout, like, do you know what I mean? So yeah. the Blackout had quite a young crowd, mm. and that's definitely like something we want to make sure we do is reach out to the younger people as well so they can enjoy it and come out and enjoy the shows. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Because it was bonkers. I've never had so much stuff pinched off me when jumping into the crowd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you also toured with Rob Zombie, as you mentioned earlier. Um, he was such a devout fan base. Um, was that difficult when you opened up for him on tour? First night it was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. We first night was Brixton Academy, which is the probably, you know, yeah. one we was looking forward to. Like, But it was yeah. just so... Because it was like the first night and everyone was like, you know, setting the gear up and stuff yeah, and everything's yeah. ready and we was like sound checking while people was coming through the doors and stuff so it was just like just oh. so mad they was trying to cram something that they do stadiums out in America yeah. into like Brixton and stuff so there was like <laughs> big 16 foot monsters walking yeah. around and around it's like oh but it was you know, it was amazing to her mm. you know we had a hell of experience and like I said the venues we played as well mm. just the longer the tour went on as well the more response we was getting from it like it was yeah. good crack it was fairly you recorded a track for Jägermeister, which is done acoustically, which has been released this week, yeah? Um, how different was that to your normal style of playing? It was something I think we'd want to do anyway, wouldn't it? Like, acoustically, like. And uh, you had the idea, didn't you, Shane? Yeah, like, I just, you know... You know, like, um, you know when, like, bands like Foo Fighters do, like, acoustic versions of their songs? I always yeah. think it works really well. And I think it's, like, because the songs are written, you know, so so good... So I just thought, you know, it'd be cool to see if we could do that with one of our tracks. And, uh, yeah, I think it's worked out really well, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the fan reaction been like so far? Yeah, pretty, well, yeah, everybody seems to be really into it. You know, it's, it's different to, like, you know, the album version. is different, It sounds different for us. But everybody seems to be really into it, you know, it's, it's really cool, like. Death Somebody make some noise right now! What does the future hold for you guys? We're going on tour with uh, Chimera next month. We're going on the UK with them. And um, I don't know if we're just going to go away and write it for a bit, and we? Mm. And just, you know, I'm sure we've got something planned for the summer. It's just uh, festivals. Can't see where well, we're not sure yet. Not sure just wait and see what's coming in. But we've got a few in mind. Yeah. So it should be good.
What do you think of the involvement of young people like ourselves in the kind of background of the music industry? I think it's something that well, it needs to be done because if it's not, then then the future is going to go downhill. You know, obviously, especially to see young people getting involved as well. There's a lot to be learned from the people who've already done it, and we need younger people to do it to carry it on. Otherwise, it's just going to go all down, uh, downhill. Thanks very much, guys. Cool, thanks, guys. I've been Richard, Steve <laughs> McKenzie. Um, this is Revoca at the factory. Ta raga. <laughs> it's not my time to die. It's not my time to die.